Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of a very interesting little bottle opener, and that's these little guys right here. These are by uh, Lake County Knife and Tool, and they are referred to, for whatever reason, as the Spermies. Okay, whatever. Doesn't look like a sperm whale to me, but... Eh, whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, here you go. They're uh, going up on a Kickstarter right now. Actually, I think it's ongoing, and uh, it's it's pretty entertaining. I When I first saw these go up on Instagram, absolutely jizzed, I'm sorry, Jazz, to check these guys out because, you know, it's, it's unique. It doesn't take itself too seriously, and it's a smaller bottle opener as opposed to the huge monstrosities that you see out and about there. So I want to thank my buddy over at uh, Lick It, Lake County Knife and Tool, for sending these guys along. Much appreciated. Let's do a quick little size comparison here. Nice small pocket tool, uh, the Spyderco Rhodey. Uh, bigger pocket tool, Spyderco Delica. Uh, standard U.S. quarter. Can live right over here. Standard bottle cap. Already drank. And a, uh, a standard big pen. So you can see here that uh, the uh, big pen is maybe uh, spummy and three quarters long. It's an interesting uh, measurement method there. But anyways, um, a quick note on the product here. There are apparently three versions of these. Um, level 1 uh, finishing has no eye and a raw finish along the outside here. Level 2 has an eye, but it has a, a raw finish. I mean, the eye is drilled out in the level 1s. Um, in the level 2s, it's got an eye, but a raw finish on there. And in the level 3s, uh, these are all level 3s. And there are three metals available. You got your brass, your aluminum, and your copper down here. Um, and I, my buddy wanted me to be clear that these are production prototypes and that the final version may change. So, um, there you go. Uh, so let's go on ahead and jump into the, uh, the, the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly of your, uh, Lick It Spummies. Okay, so first and foremost, these guys come with a great finish. Um, I'll zoom in here a little bit, give you the money shot, and I mean, take a look at that. Seriously, it's got a nice polish to it. These level three ones are impressing me. You can also see that he's embossed his little logo in there, which is actually, although a little splattery, uh, is actually a lake in Lake County, California. But um, yeah, I, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the finish on these level three versions. Um, the side is not as finished, but that's okay. Next thing, um, these guys have a little hook on there. Um, if we take a look and kind of zoom in, you can see that there's almost a little grabber portion. It's not just a, a flat surface. There's a little bit of hook there, and it doesn't seem like much, but I will say it makes a vast deference when you're actually opening bottles. And this is actually a good bottle opener. If we've got a bottle like this here, all you really need to do is get your spummy ready, and then it's pretty easy to just pop. No problems. Good tool for that. I'm a little limited by having this phone right here, but there we go. Now I got a root beer. Can't argue with that, right? So, uh, there you go. Great opener. Um, there is a little tiny bit of a pry bar in the tail here. You gotta be careful because you got that hole there, and so I wouldn't really trust too hard with this, but at the same time, it is a little bit multi-useful in that way with this little thing. So, can't argue with that. Less so on the aluminum. It uh, does have a, a little lanyard of a keychain hole on the back here. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but that's not necessarily a problem. The uh, waves on it here in the tail are pretty ergonomic, I gotta say. Um, it's great for if you're working in a lubricated environment. It's not gonna come slipping out of your hands, particularly. And I gotta say, even just manipulating this in the hand still feels pretty great. So, uh, there you go. Then finally, um, relative to a lot of your character bottle openers out there in the world, your expensive snails and whatnot, it's inexpensive. A lot of those go in the two or three hundred dollar range for whatever reason. And, uh, that seems a little crazy. Uh, with this guy, you know, the high end is, I think, 27 bucks, so you don't need to choose between buying this and a, or a pearl necklace for your sweetie there. You know, you can do both, and that's kind of a wonderful thing. So anyways, that's the good. It comes with a great finish. The bite hook makes a vast deference. You got a really good opener on there. Um, you've got a nice pry bar sort of thing going on in the tail, on the harder metal versions at least. Little lanyard hole, keychain. You got some nice ergonomic waves here. Gives you a nice, pleasurable grip. And then uh, they're not that expensive. So that's kind of a beautiful thing. Let's talk about the great here. The great here is that this isn't a product that takes itself too seriously, because I am absolutely over the violent 
brass knuckly bottle openers in the world. I mean, bottle openers are just fertile ground for making improvements. And this guy yeah, th didn't waste time prostating before the conventions, the high speed, low drag, whatever, in the EDC tool world. He didn't try and craft these as, you know, oh my god, they're crazy self-defense claws for your ninjas. No, he's just made things that open bottles and amuse me, and I can't argue with that in the least. I don't know. I mean, I don't know why it bugs me so much. I think I would just, I would love to see men carrying something less tactical and weapony to open bottles than some of your brass knuckle bottle opener sorts of options out there. Eh, see women too. But uh, yeah, so anyways, that's the great for me, is that this is just not taking itself too seriously. So on the bad side, um, first off, you do have some tooling marks. I mean, for instance, on the sides of these, it's not perfectly finished, even on level 3. And, you know, you can see here that the chamfering is not entirely even on this production prototype. And there are little bags under the eyes. But the thing is, you're paying 30 bucks here. You, you're just going to get a quickie for 30 bucks. If you want the full experience, you might want to go someplace else for that. Um, So that is something to keep in mind. And also, he was very quick to point out that these are production prototypes. I suspect the final versions might be a little a bit more polished. Who knows? Um, the maker's mark on these guys honestly feels a little bit splashed on. Um, I, you know, having it on the face there is interesting, but I, I don't know. And it, it detracts from an otherwise clean look on this little guy. But, you know, hey, not the end of the world. These are available only on the Kickstarter at the moment. Um, that's okay, but it just does mean that you can't pop down to your local come and go or another corner store for that matter and pick one up. Um, but this guy has done some projects before on there, I think for the beer rumbit and mini beer rumbit. And so, uh, and those went well. So I suspect there's going to be a happy ending for everybody involved. The aluminum on this guy may actually be a little bit weak for the task. Um, you can see here that using it, the, uh, there's a little bit of wear already on the bite hook. He said that that's expected and that that's something he's kind of built in to the uh, design of the tool. But um, if you got big brass ones, you might consider a little brass one. It just kind of matches that way. So uh, there you go. Size-wise, this is way bigger than the original, and honestly, it's a little bit big for the pocket. I mean, next to a quarter, this is not this is not small. It's not trivial. It'll be big on any keychain that you happen to have there. So you're going to need to keep your spermie count pretty low, or else your pocket's going to be filled right up. And it's also worth noting that with the uh, the the sharper end on here, you do have a little bit of a, a pocket becca with your spermies here. Because um, the little guy's got eye motility. It'll, it'll, you know, swim all around in the pocket, so to speak. And I've found it jabbing up against my legs on occasion. So putting it on a keychain to help control that might not be a terrible idea. And then finally, um, these guys are not necessarily appropriate for all situations. Um, you know, for instance, you might not want to bring them to work, or at least, you know, they're a great gift, but you got to be careful who you're giving it to. Otherwise, things can get really complicated really quickly. So, um, anyways, that's that's the bad on your little spermies here. You got some tooling marks. The maker's mark is just feeling a little splashed on there. They're only Kickstarter available at the moment. The aluminum one might be a little bit weak to the task. A little bit on the big side. Uh, high motility, so it pokes you around a little bit. And they're not necessarily appropriate in every situation. Um, let's talk a little bit about the ugly. So the ugly here isn't that ugly, but it's just the simple fact that these guys only really do two things. They open bottles and they make people laugh. That's, that's pretty much it. I guess they could crack an egg in a pinch, but still. Um, they are not terribly multifunctional, whereas a lot of the bottle openers out there in the EDC world really are. You can get a pry bar. It's like I said, I don't necessarily trust this as prying. Um, and you can get all kinds of other little tools in that same amount of weight. But the thing is, sometimes you got a one-track mind, and it's really worth it to carry a dedicated tool for one very, very specific job. So uh, there you go. Uh, that's your ugly, is that it's really only doing two things well, but it's doing them pretty well. Let's go final verdict here. Some days it feels like millions of these little novelty bottle openers are released, but at the end of the day, only one can make it onto your keychain. I mean, you can tell that the maker has really put a lot of himself into this project, and the result definitely came out strong. But, you know, these are absolutely ridiculous. They're slightly immature. They're available right now only by Kickstarter, and they only really do one thing well, two things if you count amusing people. But at the end of the day, it is a solid bottle opener, um, particularly the little brass one, and the price is just fine for the EDC world, and honestly, it's amusing enough to me that I back the project, even though I don't tend to carry bottle openers. So... 
you know, that's that's nice. And so only you are going to know whether you want spermies in your life. And for many people, that's just going to be a matter of personal taste. But if you do, if this is interesting, or more likely if this is amusing to you, I highly encourage you to uh, give it a shot. I hope this has been interesting, that I was able to gamete your expectations, and that you have yourselves a safe and enjoyable rest of your day. And sorry about all the puns. Bye now. Not really sorry.